Good morning, Real Life Church. My name is Trisha, and I have the privilege of sharing today's message with you. This week has taken us and will continue to take us through a range of emotions and scripture. Lacey shared a powerful message on prayer. Pastor Nicole led us through a deeper understanding of betrayal. Jasmine reminded us of Jesus' love. And I get to share because he is worthy. Let me say that again, because he is worthy. We will be reading from John chapter 13, verses 4 through 20. So he got up from supper, laid aside his outer clothing, took a towel and tied it around himself. Next, he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet and to dry them with the towel tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who asked him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered him, What I'm doing you don't realize now, but afterward you will understand. You will never wash my feet, said Peter. Jesus replied, If I don't wash you, you have no part with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not only my feet, but also my hands and my head. One who has bathed, Jesus told him, doesn't need to wash anything except his feet, but he is completely clean. You are clean, but not all of you. For he knew who would betray him. This is why he said, not all of you are clean. And when Jesus had washed their feet and put on his outer clothing, he reclined again and said to them, do you know what I have done for you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are speaking rightly since that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you also should do just as I have done for you. Truly, I tell you, a servant is no greater than his master, and a messenger is not greater than the one who sent him. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. I'm not speaking about all of you. I know those I have chosen. But the scriptures must be fulfilled. The one who eats my bread has raised his heel against me. I am telling you now before it happens, so that when it does happen, you will believe that I am he. Truly I tell you, whoever receives anyone I send receives me. And the one who receives me receives him who sent me. Today is Passover. Most people reference the Last Supper sharing a meal with Jesus. But as I think about this passage, the significance of foot washing continues to amaze me. Can you imagine what it's like to wash the feet of someone in sandals after walking miles in the dirt, dust, sand, mud? Feet are not the, what most of us would view as a beautiful part of ourselves. Yet Jesus lowers himself He kneels to wash the feet of every disciple. He wants us to come to the table to rest and he kneels to wash our feet. He is so worthy. There is nothing more powerful than the name of Jesus. The joy that we get when we recognize his worth, our identity in him, our salvation, that true freedom is so overwhelming and powerful. Despite knowing about the betrayal, Jesus chooses to include Peter. He accepts him, knowing that he's going to turn him in. He cleanses and offers wisdom. Jesus recognizes that we will never understand, but he still loves us. That is such integrity and character and a worthiness to be praised. We honor his worthiness when we serve. He instructed them to go and do likewise. We ought to be washing the feet of others. Do I thank him for who he is and all that he's done? Do I come to the cross? Do I pray? Not only when I'm struggling, but in my joy and blessings. Who have I betrayed? Do I forgive those that have betrayed me or lied to me or misunderstood me? Am I asking Jesus to cleanse my soul? Because it is only through his worth that we are redeemed. When I love like Jesus did, 
I honor him in the best way possible. He is so precious and nothing compares to his love. But am I prepared to give it all just as Jesus did? Will I kneel in service to him and wash another's feet? Do I worship and praise him in all that I do? Or is there a part of me that is seeking glory for myself? When we recognize someone who is worthy, every fiber of our being wants to be with them. Our desire is to spend time to get to know them, to love them, and to please them. We, we value their presence and we praise Jesus' holy name. He is so worthy and faithful that he never leaves or forsakes us. So when we think about because he is worthy, we should be screaming his name in praise. We should be shouting his name when we are excited and joyful. We should be calling on him when we're struggling or in sorrow. Please join me in prayer. Jesus, we praise your name is higher than any other. You are so worthy, Lord, and we ask that you wash our feet. Make us clean, Lord. Forgive all that is not of you. Whatever is not pleasing to you, take it away. Help me to recognize what I need to let go of, Lord, whether it's control, pride, anger, bitterness, jealousy. You can fill in your own. Ask him to reveal it if you don't know what it is. But I also ask that you remind him what it is that I need to grow in. Because Lord, we want to be a reflection of you. We want to magnify your name and glorify you. Assure me that even though I have raised my heel against you, I am worthy of redemption because you are worthy. Lord, I'm ready to be redeemed. So please wash me now. Amen. I hope you have a blessed day.